Welcome to Getting to Know You. I'm your host, Iman Tasmanigan, and I'm happy to welcome you to this podcast where we get to know members of the Berkshire Hills Music Academy community better. Our guest for today's episode of Getting to Know You is Joey Gag. Joining us via Zoom from Canada. Welcome, Joey. Thanks for coming on the show today. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. The community is looking forward to getting to know you more. I'll start by asking a few introductory questions. If any of my questions are not clear, please don't hesitate to ask me to repeat. I know you live in Canada, Joey. Have you always lived there? Were you born there? I was born in Ottawa, Ontario. And um, and yes, I've been living in Ontario, Canada for, uh, for a long time. When I was two weeks old, or two months old. No, it was, <laughs> it was when I was two weeks old, I moved to Sudbury, Ontario, where I'm currently living. Tell us, Joey, how long have you been a student at BHMA? So I've been a student at BHMA for about five years. This about to go into my sixth year. What drew you to Berkshire Hills Music Academy in the first place, and why did you want to come here? Well, I ended up asking was that my my mom wanted to find me a program that I could go to because I was too old for the uh, for the other ones. So she checked out this checked out Berkshire Hills and and she and she was curious about what else they do at this place. Do you remember anything about your very first visit to BHMA? Oh yes, I remember quite a bit. I remember arriving i remember that i did a drum solo and um, i remember staying there a few nights and going to uh going to different classes including circles and yes i remember a lot of it not all of it but a lot of it what activities do you take part in and enjoy at bhma when it open it's open that is <laughs> uh, what I really enjoy is uh, the program at uh, Yuma, where where we get together and uh, it's the uh, exercise program, and and uh, and one of us and the trainer would get together and we would exercise together. I also Really enjoy going out into the community uh, and doing different things, and the best buddy program too. I know you play piano. When did you start, and what drew you to the piano? Oh, so I actually taught myself by by listening, and then I figured it out on my on my own. And then from there, I developed my piano skills. Wow, that's so you're self-taught. Yeah, I can be self-taught, yeah. What do you miss the most about not being at BHMA? Ooh, what do I miss? Well, I miss seeing all my friends. Um, I also miss doing the activities and, and stuff like that as well. And my independence, because I live, I live off a of busy road, so I can only, I can only walk on my street. Now that we are not together, what is your favorite part of Zoom? Ooh, favorite part of Zoom. I like it all. I love going to to class every single day and being able to still connect with my friends even though we're not physically together. What are you looking forward to the most when BHMA opens up again? Oh, 
I look forward to having my independence back and being able to do things on my on my own. Even though I do it at home, it's a lot easier to do it at school. If it's okay with you, let's shift into talking about sheltering in place. Who are you sheltering in place with? I'm at home with my parents. What have you enjoyed most about being at home? What are some of your favorite things to do while you're at home? Oh, what I enjoy about being home is enjoying the pool and um, and what else? I have a keyboard at home and um, I'm enjoying a lot of free time. What has been one of your favorite meals during this time at home? <laughs> oh, that's a really good question. I just had some pierogies today. So that is definitely one of my favorite foods. Have you learned anything new about yourself during this time? Have you developed any new skills or abilities? Oh, have I learned anything new about myself? That's a really good question. Uh, what I've been learning new is my new level of patience. Because sometimes, sometimes I do get just a little bit impatient. But, but yes, just being very patient with everything right now. That's a really good, yeah, that's really good. That's I knew that I was a very patient guy. But at the same time, my patients have grown, so. That's great. Has there been anything hard during this time at home? Um, anything hard? Um, not really, no. Can you think of something kind someone has done lately? Or something kind that you have done lately? Um, uh, something kind. Well, I've been helping around the house doing different chores, so. That's good. Now to switch gears again. Joey, is there something that you could tell us about yourself that people at BHMA might not know about you? Could be something you are interested in or anything at all. Oh, anything else about myself? Well, I do a lot of energy work, um, like, um, like helping to heal other people if they're not feeling well or if they're having a bad day, you know, my my words and my wisdom and all that is healing. Yeah, please, yeah, can you elaborate? Tell us more. Um, so just by reading people's energy, it tells me what's going on. Do you have any special interests or hobbies you could tell us about? Oh, besides trains and confetti and other things. <laughs> I do not, I, it's hard to pick. That's okay. Do you have a favorite joke or riddle to share? Oh yeah, knock knock. Who's there? Ash. Ash who? Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Any more? Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry, it's a joke. Oh, okay. Good one. <laughs> In my last two questions, Joey, if you had superpowers, what would you do with them? If I had a superpower, what would I do with it? Oh, I already feel like I have a superpower. What Making the it? world a better place. It's a good one for everyone. I like that one. Is there anything you would like to share with the community before we close? I would like to just tell everyone to just uh, believe in themselves. I like that one. Because <laughs> actually the BHMA community has helped me to believe in myself. So, a great community. So, yes, the BHMA community has helped me develop skills that, that has helped me to believe in myself and gain confidence in myself. Thanks so much for coming on the show today, Joey. It's been a pleasure to talk with you. And it's a pleasure to talk with you, too. Thank you, everyone, for listening to today's episode of Getting to Know to thank Joey again for taking the time to talk with us. Our theme song is Getting to Know You by Rogers and Hammerstein, performed by BHMA community member Franklin Nichols. Editing is done by Jacob Bernstein. Creative direction by me, Eman Tesmanikin, with creative support from Mary Martin.
Marsha Sani, Sandy Katuno, and my mom, Ani Tuffy. We hope you've enjoyed this show.